Hey, it's Oakbones with Shifty, and welcome back to the channel for another part of Life with Gabby, Teen Mom. So guys, we are back with Gabby. We are literally picking up exactly where we left off. It's still Winterfest, and a lot of you guys suggested in the comments that you are ready to go and visit Gabby's mom, and I am as well. I have been anticipating this for a long time. I just had to get their house in order and just get them a home that really fit Gabby's mom's new lifestyle because we all know how Alma is, but her daughter is completely opposite of that. Now, Alma's very humble. You know, she she's well off. She's so okay she's doing well financially but she just stuck to her roots she loved her little cozy house that she had that she got with her husband and she didn't want to upsize it or anything and she only had one child so she fit comfortably in the room that was here and when Gabby's mom moved out Gabby's mom was like I hated that life I hated feeling like we had no money I hated feeling like people thought we were poor I hated feeling like I was just cramped in one small home with my parents so Gabby's mom went out and she became successful and she is just living a very luxurious life, a very calm, luxurious life. So I can't wait to show you guys her house and her dog and her husband, Gabby's stepfather. But Gabby's stepfather, he's very chill. He's cool. I like him. He's very laid back. He's not like Gabby's mom at all. But let's go ahead and get Alda ready. We're going to head over to her mom's house and yeah, I'm super excited. All right, so we are all here at Gabby's mom's house. We even brought Alma with us. You know, she wanted to see her daughter. It is Winterfest. You know, she still loves her daughter, even though her daughter can be very stubborn and hard-headed and just, yeah, we, yeah, you know. But um, we are here at Gabby's mom's house. This is where Gabby grew up. This is where she lived. And once you see the house, I think you'll be able to tell why her mom sent her to Alma's because she just didn't want this rambunctious child running around and coming out of her house because she just built up this image and she just didn't want Gabby to ruin that for her. She's very about herself. Um, So this is Gabby's mom's house. Very large. <laughs> yes, guys. Isn't it beautiful? I found it on the gallery. It is a pretty house. Um, she has her little wreath outside and I'll give you guys a full tour. So this is the house. I love it. And even like without the snow, it's, it's all white. It looks really beautiful. Um, but yeah, this is where she lives and we're going to go knock on the door so that way we can see the rest of the home. I am just pumped to get Aldo in here to meet his grandma and to see her because the last time that you saw her, he was a baby, so he doesn't remember any of that, but let's go ahead and knock on the door and I'll show you guys Gabby's old room. All right. So here we are. We are inside and we're going to go ahead and just tour the first level. So this is the living room area. It has a very large TV and it has like the sunken in floor with the couches and things like that down there. This is their dog, um, Stella. They got the dog after Gabby moved out. So yeah, this is Stella. She's a greyhound. And um, yeah, let's just finish giving you guys a tour. I love the way this is so modern, but also has like that kind of rustic feel with the floor. It's very nice. We have like a little end entryway here with the mirror and I'll give you guys like a little spin tour here this is nice as well this is where the kitchen is I love kind of like how it just flows easily into the next room it's so nice and then you come over to the side and you have like a little dining area over here and then you have the formal dining and then we have like another seating section and then off to the side we just have a small bathroom I guess this is like the guest bathroom we have a guest bedroom downstairs and then when we go upstairs we have Gabby's old room. This is where Gabby used to sleep. It looks nothing like this. Gabby had some posters up, but when she moved, her mom kind of just cleaned it up a little bit. She took the posters down and put in these little chairs and these curtains. And yeah, Gabby just wasn't a fan of it. <laughs> um, but this is kind of, I mean, this is essentially what her room looked like, but her mom put up all these plants and things like that. But this was Gabby's bed and her, you know, her rug and everything like that. Um, there is a bathroom attached. And over here we have like a little nook painting area. This is Aldo's room. Room. So his grandma went a little crazy and designed a room for him over here. And then she even got a little doggy that kind of looks like Duchess. So that way when he comes over, he's like, oh, that's my doggy. <laughs> so this is his little room. Little, I say little, but it's huge. He even has a TV. <laughs> Guys, he can come over here and just like have a ball. But this is his room. And then over here we have um, a little nook area. I keep saying nook, but I guess a little corner area with a computer and another little seating side. I 
love the staircase, how it does the twist here. Thank you guys for the update. It's beautiful. <laughs> um, this bathroom is my favorite because you have the walk-in shower. This is beautiful. I want something like this in real life when um, me and my fiance purchased our home. And look at the sink just so seamless and so pretty and this is on a upper level I just I really like this house it's so cute and then this is her mom's bedroom I don't know what's going on with the floor it's being weird but I love the rock and the brick the builder of this house is just phenomenal and before before we exit this because I'm really bad about this I'm going to go to the gallery and I'm going to show you guys this house <laughs> so if you would like this house this is where you can download it, it is called the Domus Familiars of uh, Familiar. I don't know. <laughs> um, but it's by Resner Sim. And yeah, it's pretty expensive, but this is the home. So if you would like it, go ahead and download it. I know I'm really bad for showcasing houses and then never saying what they're from <laughs> or who built it. That's what I meant. Um, so yeah, this is the house. If you want to get it, go ahead and download it. But yeah, this is where Gabby grew up. This is where she was living before she moved in with Alma. So um, yeah, she had a lot of space, but you know, she loves living with Alma and their little tiny house together. Not tiny, but but just smaller house and um yeah she just likes it so i guess she's gonna yell and be like hey mom we're here like where are you at <laughs> everybody's upstairs the house is so big everybody's just stretched out but um it looks like she's on her way downstairs guys this is gabby's mom in the flesh in person i know you guys haven't seen her in a while but look at the resemblance like three generations and they all look the exact same do you guys see this so pretty <laughs> but um i would love to show you guys her outfits oh my god but i can't actually i can so um let's go in here and go to dresser and change outfit it's gonna be a small image but that way you guys can kind of get an idea of what she's like and how she dresses but yeah look at this I'll even zoom in a little bit. Hopefully you guys can get a good um, picture of it. I'll put her in this outfit really quickly. So she has a very, um, I don't know what the word would be, but I, I do actually like her style. I think it suits her very well. She's super cute. Um, this is probably my favorite outfit right here. <laughs> She's got the like the bell bottom jeans with this um, kind of cardigan moment with a tank top. She looks very youthful and that is because, you know, her mom is still young. Gabby was a teen mom. So, well, is a teen mom. So yeah. Um, but let's, oh, did they make breakfast? What is this? Pollock paneer? Uh, okay. Somebody came in and cooked it. So let's grab a serving together. I am ready to dig in. You know, we already ate though. So <laughs> none of us are hungry, but we'll just sit down and eat with mom just cause, you know, she would love that. But Aldo's going to get his serving. We don't have a high chair down here for him. Mom, you should have brought one down. He's like, I'll just sit on the floor. <laughs> but let's talk to Gabby's mom be like, Hey, how's it going? And she's probably going to ask, you know, where's Marco? So let's have a deep conversation, uh, with mom and yeah, Gabrielle, take your birth control. I need to take my birth control. Oh my God. Thank you. <laughs> um, but you know, Gabby's mom's like, Hey, where's Marco? Why isn't he here? And Gabby of course is like, I don't really want to talk about it. She's walking off to go get on the computer. But realistically, Gabby did text Marco and she was like, Hey, it's your son's, you know, it's Christmas. You're not, you know, coming to see your son. Like what's going on? So he just never responded. And she just took that as he just didn't want to see them. So that's why we're here. Um, and we're hanging out with the mom, but she's lighting the fireplace and just doing her own thing. I wish she would interact with us. She's cold. Oh, poor thing. Um, let's show toy to Laura. Oh, <laughs> let's come visit. I guess they don't have a thermostat in here. Oh yeah, they do. Um, we can't adjust it because we don't live here. <laughs> oh, crap. Oh, wait. Gabby probably can. I was on the child. I'm so sorry. Let's go ahead and turn this on warmer. That way everybody is not freezing. <laughs> here we go. And this is Gabby's stepdad. Oh, my God. He finally came downstairs. Isn't he a cutie? He's so cute. I love him. But his name is Frank. And as you guys can see, his, like, his style is very simple, very plain. Not as, you know, 
fancy as her mom, <laughs> but I hope that she interacts with her grandson. Aldo has been wanting to come over here and see her, uh, but I can't really do much. Show toy to Laura. That's about it. <laughs> so I, this is a really awkward situation. I don't know if it's because Laura feels weird because she, you know, gave up rights to her child essentially, and she's just feeling weird about talking to her, but um, she's not really trying to socialize with anybody. She's kind of doing her own thing, but maybe Gabby can try and ask her about her day and see if something comes from that. I don't know. I feel so weird, guys. I'm so sorry. I'm trying to go with the story and just let the Sims tell the story, but it's really hard because everybody just keeps trying to avoid each other, so I don't know if that's the story or if the game's just being weird because of my mods, but oh, there we go. They look like sisters. <laughs> She's like, hey, mom, how's it been? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, she's like, hey, so um, I asked you where Marco was and you kind of took off upstairs. Like, is he coming to join us soon? I was going to make some coffee and I was just wondering if he was coming down. And Gabby's like, that's funny, mom. You, you think Marco would actually come over to your house after you told him not to hang out with me? And, you know, he was the main reason you kicked me out of the house. Like, no, Marco's not going to come over. She's like, you're out of your mind. She's like, hey, you know, and it's in the past. He's, you know, my grandson's father, so he's welcome to come over. Gabby's like, I, I really don't know what to do. So maybe she's thinking about texting Marco now. Let's see if he actually wants to come hang out. I don't know. Um, invite to hang out to current lot. Oh, he's got a Christmas hat on. What's he doing? <laughs> We'll try to invite him over and see if he wants to come see his son, but Gabby really doesn't want to see him right now. She's only trying to be civil, guys, because it's the holidays. Um, normally, she just, oh, he's coming over. Nice. <laughs> but she wants to try and be on her own for a little bit because Marco desperately needs to get himself situated. Look at Alma. Alma's in here. She's like, this is a big TV. <laughs> She's trying to watch her soaps. <laughs> It's just reruns, honey. It's Christmas. They ain't playing nothing new. Um, Marco. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Is he really going to ruin the holiday with his attitude? Oh, Gabby's going upstairs after him. She's like, Marco. Marco, we're right here. Where are you going? Is he Guys, what's he going to do? Is he going to go punch the bear again? I swear. I bet that's what he's going to go do. How much you guys want to bet? Yep. Oh my gosh, Marco. Can you just like chill? We really need to get him like, like get to talk to him and tell him he needs to go and talk to somebody about his anger issues. Oh my God. Uh, I'm not apologizing for nothing. He still wants her to apologize. Wow. What a jerk. Um, complain about Winter Vest. They're going to be like, a oh, curfew is about to start. Duchess is checking in. <laughs> Duchess is like, where you at? Um, but I'm going to have Gabby come over here and just be like, Marco, um, what's your deal? Like, you've made Christmas so awful. You're really not trying to interact with your son. Like, it's his first Christmas with all of us around and you're being so complicated right now. Like, why do you have to ruin everything? He's like, I don't want to hear it. Talk to the hand, Gabby. You're the one who made this complicated. It's always about me making things complicated, Marco. I don't make anything complicated. You're the one with the attitude. He's like, I don't have an attitude problem. You're the one who puts me in a bad mood. She's like, maybe you, the problem is you. Maybe you need to figure that out on your own. But you're not going to stand here and yell at me in my parents' house. And you know what? How about you just go ahead and go away and try to calm yourself down because I'm not going to do that for you. He's like, fine, whatever. He and he just walks right past Aldo. Aldo walks past him. He's like, I don't know who that is because <laughs> he doesn't really see Aldo like that. Oh, Gabby's like, I'm sorry, baby. I'm sorry you had to see us fighting. It's okay. I'll just like, I'm okay, mommy. Oh, I think I'm going to let them stay the night here. Like, yeah, um, Gabby's mom is being kind of weird, but um, we should stay and, you know, we should spend some time with her. Marco. Oh, apparently Marco's got superpowers. <laughs> but yeah, we should all stay the night here and just, you know, spend some time with her. Oh my God, Father Winter. Yes. Can Aldo ask for a present? Ask for a present. Yes. 
I'm gonna have him come down here and ask for one. But yeah, like I was saying, I think we're gonna have them stay the night here and just hang out with Laura a little bit because we haven't seen her in a long time and she is really trying to talk to Gabby. She just feels a little awkward sometimes because, you know, she's she did ask her daughter to leave and things were tense between them for a little bit, but now they're just, they're trying to work on it, so... Yeah, we should definitely try and spend more time with her. I'm so glad that you guys were also in agreeing to like having Gabby come over and see her mom because we really do need to work on that relationship. Oh, Aldo finally made his way down here to talk to um Father Winter. So I want to ask for a present. I guess he can ask for one now. Poor baby. He's got a stinky diaper. He's like, can I have a present? Are you going to give me one? I think my game's messed up. Please? He just keeps laughing. I don't think this is funny. <laughs> Give me a gift. Oh, wow. Well, dang. <laughs> I really thought that we could get a present, Ken. Oh, not fight. Oh, my God. That's something that Marco would have done. Um, ask for a present? Friendly introduction, of course. <laughs> um, maybe we can get a present for Aldo. And I'm going to see if Alma can chase him down and get his diaper changed because he's a little stinky butt. I guess he's on his way crawling up here. <laughs> yeah, he's he's kind of fast. Oh my gosh. Um, yeah, let's chase him down and try and clean him up. Oh, you'll be okay. What happened? I guess nobody really has any interest in talking to Father Winter. <laughs> this is so weird. Um, change him. The parents are in bed. Like... I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> our mom and our stepdad are already asleep. I guess because it's almost 12 o'clock at night. Yeah, I understand. <laughs> um, I guess that means that we'll go to bed soon too, guys. I guess today was a really short episode. I'm so sorry. But, you know, Winterfest is almost over. So I guess it makes sense because this is going to be uploaded near Christmas and we just want to wrap Christmas up. But yeah, I'll wrap Christmas up like a present. <laughs> But guys, I have no idea what to do with Marco. Um, I don't even know, like, in a sense, like, I don't know what to do with him with co-parenting, you know? Because it seems like he just doesn't want to be involved in anything, really, you know? Like, he just is complicated. And he's always wanting to fight with Gabby and argue with her and tell her that she's the problem rather than self-reflecting and realizing that he may also cause issues. So I have no idea. I guess Gabby just needs to just try and keep in touch with him and if he just keeps distancing himself then she just slowly needs to distance herself with the co-parenting as well because it doesn't seem like he really wants to accept the fact and be mature that he also is to blame so that's toxic and it's not to be around my son gabby doesn't want to keep you know her baby away from his father but he's just he's not making it easy you know um because i am going to go ahead and wrap this up like i said if you like this video like it and comment down below and i hope you all have a wonderful holiday leave your comments and your suggestions and um yeah aldo should be aging up in the next part i'm so excited to see him as a kid and gabby shortly is going to be going to university so we're gonna have a university mom and um i don't really know how her living situation is gonna work out then i don't know if like she's gonna leave aldo at home while she goes to university or if Aldo's gonna come with her or what we're gonna do but I'm excited so yeah I hope you all enjoyed this if you did leave a like comment down below like I said and I will talk to you all very soon bye guys mm -hmm.